hi everyone today i will going to explain you d orbital splitting in uh, square planar complexes so before starting the splitting pattern let us express the square planar in an exact way right Square planar is a four coordinated ligand complex. Four coordinated ligand complex and planar molecule. Square planar complex in square planar complex, metal will occupy the center of the square plane. Right. This is what the square plane where central position will be occupied by the metal ion and the four corners of the square plane will occupy four ligand sites. Right. So here when we incorporate coordination axis, the Z coordination axis will pass through only metal ion which is top to down right if this is the paper paper if we consider as a square plane at the middle of paper there will be metal atom and four corner sides will occupy by the four ligands right middle metal four corners will occupy by four ligands right and when we incorporate the coordination axis the z axis from the top to down from the top to down it will go z axis we have to consider z axis and left to right left to right x axis we have to consider and front back front to back we have to consider y axis right this this can also be represented by like this also we can represent where metal centrally situated metal front and back two ligands left and right two more ligands right same square plane i am not changing anything i am not changing the structure the orientation of structure how we how we look i just changed right So where you will exactly know how the ligands and how the coordination axis from here to here same just I just rotated so the same square plane I just rotated where these two ligands getting front left and right these two ligands getting front and back and that's how this is x axis this is what y-axis and from the top to bottom it will have z-axis the z-axis here we cannot show here we cannot show right because z-axis on the paper and down the paper right if this is the square plane here the metal the z-axis is top side and down side right so which can be written like this right so both are same both are same how we look into the square plane how we look into the structure of square plane complexes slight deviation slight different from here to here that's it okay so here what we are saying that the square planar complex is a four coordinated four coordinated complex ml4 where center 
of square plane occupies metal ion and four corners will occupy four ligands right so in insertion of coordination axis x y and z coordination axis z axis will pass only metal only metal and perpendicular to square plane right which means it passing top down top to down and x and y axis passes through to each two ligand sides each two ligands and metal right that is x axis passes left to right and y axis passes front to back right isn't it this is how the the square plane we can express in words okay so this after incorporating the coordination axis we have to look how uh, the d orbital valency d orbitals are affected by the four coordinated ligands right in what orientation ligands are approaching towards the metal d orbitals and which are affecting most destabilizing most uh, getting repulse interaction in most thus will go in higher energy will excites whichever the orbital are away from the coordination which are the orbitals are away from the ligand sites not interacting with the ligand sites and having no repulsive interaction which are stabilizing that will stabilizes and reaches to lowest energy that we have to look okay right let let we go for the d orbital let me start from here this is free metal ion right without ligand interaction initially it, when it interact four ligands it complexes when it complexes the d orbital get excited initially it get excited and here it go into splitting okay so let us have 
dxy orbital right so we need to have dxy orbital we know that the dxy orbital has slopes in between the coordination axis of x and y right isn't it the the quad the orbital dxy has this is what the zero energy state we will say right this right has the lobes in between dxy orbital has lobes in in between the x and y coordination axis right clearly when we go for here right this is x axis this is y axis where the xy orbital lobes will be here one lobe here second here third and here fourth like this like this it has the lobes right not only it has the lobes in between the coordination axis here in square planar complex the lobes of dxy also in between the ligand sides isn't it these two ligands um, has middle of this orbital this orbital dxy orbital uh, here in between of these two ligands this particular lobe will be in between of these two ligands this particular lobe will be in between of these two ligands here when we expect the lobe it will be in between of these two ligands right so which means the four lobes of dxy is are uh, in between the all four ligand sides so here what happens is the bonding when we see right the metal to ligand bond length here when we see it is very very short in the square planar complex right the approach of ligand here in square planar complex is very effective strength and bond it will form the shorter strength and shorter bond between metal and ligand right will make shorter length where the shorter metal to ligand bond length can have right can have the closer interaction of this ligand with sideways lobes of dxy also it has slight interaction with this particular ligand with sideways lobes also right so all the four lobes of dxy have sideways interactions right very partial sideways interaction with all the four ligand sets as the metal to ligand bond is very very shorter right so with this partial sideways interactions of all four ligands towards the dxy orbital will get the dxy orbital to slightly destabilize and gets slight in higher energy will make excitation of dxy lobe in and slightly higher that is 2.46 dq right the excitation energy level will be given as 2.46 dq right we know that 10 dq is equal to 1 delta naught right so whatever it may be it would be 2.46 dq energy level it will get excited right so when it come to next right next orbital d y z right d y z when it come so here right the z axis is how it is it is towards up upward it is towards upward isn't it the dxy uh, sorry d z orbital is towards upward front uh, upward and downward we have seen we have taken as upward and downward z orbit z lobe axis z axis so where it come to if we want to express the dyz orbital lobes right y is front and back z is up and down so the lobe will be how it is above the plane right in between the z and y this is y and this is towards upward is z isn't it this is towards upward is z so this is front is y so in between of these two the lobe will be there right the lobe will be there right so here the lobe as it is above the plane of molecular plane right this is the square plane is the molecular plane isn't it so for such molecular plane the lobe of d y z is above the plane right the second lobe also back side of above the plane the other two are downward right below of the plane 
front side and back side like this right so like that the four lobes will be there they are totally away from the ligand sides they are totally uh, above or below the planes right for this square plane they are the lobes of d y z are above to below to which means they cannot have any interaction with ligand sides right whereas when it come to d y x y why it is has interaction with ligand set because that is in in between of exactly in plane plane and the two ligands are affecting the d x y lobe right whereas come to d y z they are the lobes are above to below to which are cannot be have any interaction with ligand sites so far as they are not closer towards the ligand sites as the so there is no interaction possibility right when there is no interaction possible for d y z that particular uh, orbital gets stabilizes and reaches to lowest energy level right it reaches to lowest energy level that is d y z next come to d z x come to z d z x right that would also have same d y z uh, yz orbital similarity so let us let us see right so this is what the structure the z is above and below the z coordination x is, is above and below whereas the x is left and right left and right right so here and here so the lobes will be where in between of these two right in between of this and this so it will come here one lobe the other one lobe will be here right above and left here one lobe right these two lobes also when you observe they are also above the plane right they are also above the plane of molecular plane and the other two will come into down below the plane here one will come here one will come in down in down so these orbitals also these lobes also as such the d y z the d z x orbital lobes also above to below to so thus four lobes of d y z also never have any interaction cannot be have any interaction with ligand sites because the ligands are on the plane the lobes of d z x also above and below will be above and below which never have any interaction there is no possibility of interaction so same as that y z so far the z x also get same stabilization no interaction so far that is also reaches to same energy level of such d y z so these two orbitals right first orbital gets slightly excitation because of these having same plane on plane lobes in between the ligand sites so slight partial interaction that will excites right the non axial orbital of d x y slightly get excited whereas the other two non axial orbitals having the lobes above the plane and below the plane which never have any interaction with ligand sites so far they get stabilizes and reaches to the lowest energy level right so by this you can observe that every time the axial orbitals and non axial orbital cannot be have similar interaction with ligand site right when the structure changes the orientation of ligand is changes the axial orbitals or non axial orbitals also will have different interaction even the three non axial orbital of these have a different interactions right in the square planar complex like that it happens right so now come to the next fourth orbital that is dx square minus y square right so when it come to dx square minus y square orbital we know that its four lobes are along the coordination axis along the x axis two lobes along the y axis two right left to right on the x axis two lobes will be there uh, on the y axis front and back there is two lobes right all the four lobes are along the x axis two y axis two where it come to ligand sites how the ligand approaches they are also along the x axis two ligands along the y axis two ligands which means that the ligand sites and d x square minus y square lobes are exactly interacting directly interacting each other right they are facing direct one to other right so when they are interacting each other directly so most of the repulsions right 
full repulsive interactions can be it happens into the four ligand sides of square pair complexes and four lobes of the dx square minus y square right all the four ligands whatever has in the square planar complexes fully directly towards the dx square minus y square orbital lobes right so negative negative interactions are highly possible here highest it it extreme it in the peak level of the square planar complexes reaches or uh, get filled by the dx square minus y square orbital lobe so far so far the dx square minus y square orbital lobes will fully destabilizes and get excites in an extreme level extreme level that it reaches to highest energy level of dx square minus y square where the energy level is 12.24 dq 12.24 dq right so that's how the splitting pattern uh, the uh, what dx square minus y square orbital lobe get excited get excited right so 2.28 dq and 2.28 right 12.28 dq and this is xy is 2.28 dq right that is what slight correction it is right so such excitation is happened for the dx square minus y square let come to the fifth and least but not the sorry last but not the least right so fifth orbital d z square orbital right we know that the d z square orbital lobes are uh, along the z axis right so coming to z axis how it is above the molecular plane and below the molecular plane z axis towards the square planar complex so far the lobes how it would be orients right it will be above one lobe below one lobe the spherical lobe will be very very small in the middle right so that smaller smaller d uh, spherical lobe and the uh, lobe of uh, above and below are totally away from the ligand sets isn't it along the upward and downward there is no ligand isn't it it is uh, never be in the plane right the above bo lobe and below lobe are not even in the plane right so far the ligands square plane ligands never have any interaction even for the spherical lobe of d z square as the spherical lobe very very smaller size right the smaller size also never be interact with any of the ligand side right so as smaller lobe in the middle that even it is not having any interaction but it cannot be reaches to the uh, same energy level such as dxz and yz it's slightly lowest lower the its energy level and it gets slightly higher than lowest energy level and here it come dz square right here it will be 4.28 dq minus 4.28 this is minus 5.14 dq these are the plus values as they are exciting energy we will represent with plus these are two decreasing their energy levels so far minus 4.28 minus 5.14 right the deviation from these two even the three orbitals of here stabilizing having no interaction with ligand side why they having two slight change in energy is because of the dz square orbital spherical lobe which could be at the middle of the ligand side so that slight negative impact will get slight excitation from lowest energy level of this these two orbitals okay so finally what we get in the square plane or d orbital splitting is the dz square dx square minus y square will reaches to highest energy level there it by dxy will reach a slightly lower energy to slightly they excites it excites and left d uh, z square orbital reaches to lowest energy level of minus 4 lowest lower energy level of minus 4 to 8 dq to 8 dq whereas the next two orbitals d y z and z x right reaches to lowest energy level of minus 5.1 
minus 5.14 dq right like that it has the splitting pattern right now you got everything right so here when we give the mullikan symbols for these excited energy levels right newly generated energy levels this is an singly degenerate energy level so the mullikan symbol here we can use is arb so here we will use the b2 sorry b1 b1g we will use this we will use here b2g here this singly degenerate level will be used as a1g this w degenerate level so the square planar complexes has dr plus splitting in an four levels new regenerative levels are four b1g b2g a1g and eg right so when having the interaction the dxy orbital having four lobes in the molecular plane and in between the ligands so have so has partial partial sidewise interaction and get excite excited to 2.28 dq b2g energy level right so when you come to dyz and d zx orbitals have lobes above and below to the molecular plane so these orbitals lobes never have never have interacted interacted to ligand sites and stabilizes to stabilizes to minus point minus 5.14 dq eg energy level okay thereby the dx square minus y square orbital load. the dx square minus y square the dx square minus y square orbital has 
as loops along the all four ligands so this dx square minus y square has highest interaction negative interaction interaction with ligands and destabilizes excited to a 12.28 dq energy level that is bng bng the dz square orbital has loops along the z axis and away from away from the ligand sites away from the ligands so dz square also get stabilizes till minus 4.28 dq energy level energy level that is a1g so this is how the dr brass fitting and its energy levels are we can describe so here I stop today's class. So I think you might you might uh, got the clear picture of d orbitals fitting in square planar complexes. So have any doubts regarding this class? You can ask me on comment section. Alright, thank you very much.